I've taught anger management for many, many years. And I think so many people misunderstand it. At one point, someone said to me, oh my gosh, you must hate that. I'm like, it is my favorite because you get into the heart and soul of somebody. But I want to speak specifically about males and anger. Anger is a secondary emotion. And what I mean by that is anger comes out when the primary emotion is uncomfortable. Well, I taught my anger management for over a decade with the military. And so on the, one of the first classes we go through is what feelings are hard to feel and or express and which ones are, are easy, right? So the hard and easy. And nearly every man, every month, every year when I taught it, weak was one of the emotions that was so uncomfortable. And these men were typically very much stronger feelers than people realized. I can talk about that more later. But they don't appear to be because they come out looking angry. Well, so if you got these guys that are feeling the feels, but they're uncomfortable expressing them, it comes out as anger. So when they feel weak and they don't like it, lash out instead. When they feel sad, and that is a sign of weakness to many men, they get angry instead. When they feel abandoned, when they feel rejected, so many men have a difficult time expressing anger that, or emotions that you will see anger instead. But if you see someone who seems to be in a relatively constant state of anger, I mean, they might have moments of smiling and happiness, but they go home and they're angry or they're angry at work or, and they just don't know where the anger is coming from. Often cases, it's a sign of depression that I can't even get past these emotions. I want you to ponder if you have a son, if you have a grandson, if you have a brother, and they have been perpetually angry. Perhaps you should help figure out or work with them about letting them discover what are the emotions they were feeling. I think so many people don't understand too, children, children of divorce. I know that's my thing, but it's my thing because I've witnessed it. I've seen happy-go-lucky children just turn as they mature and turn from their sadness and turn it into anger when they can't fix the situation. So I want you to understand angry people. There are angry women as well, but in my experience in teaching anger management, my classes were loaded with males. Probably 90% of each month's classes were men. It's a tough thing when you're feeling pain. But women have the ability, the God-given ability, to express pain more easily than men do. I've said this in past videos, but you probably didn't see that. But I just want to remind you, in the male and the female brains, the amygdala, and I believe they're amygdalae now, they say two, and they believe one processes negative emotion and the other processes uh, positive emotion. But in either case... In the female brain, the amygdala are attached to the emotions, excuse me, the verbal center. So when a woman is feeling any kind of emotion, she can express it. I'm feeling hurt. I feel belittled. I feel disrespected. I feel invisible. She can name 6,000 emotions in a split second. And by expressing them, she's more inclined to be healed because then she can vent and talk to someone else and process but the male's amygdala are attached to their spinal cord. So when men feel an emotion, first of all, he's going to move his body. That's why more guys punch file cabinets than females. <laughs> but it also means he can't articulate it. He just feels it. My job was always to help them understand what are they feeling. My job in this video is to help you understand them. Angry men are worthy of being loved. Something hurt them. Were they abused as a child? Did they witness something um, traumatic as a child? Were they the child of divorce? And their parents caused a deep wound 
And that wound never got healed unless the parents moved back together, though many parents think just because they're silent, it did. I hope this helps. It's not helping heal the anger and the loved ones in your life, but at least it's giving you an idea of where to begin. People who are angry tend to be tender people. Men who are angry tend to be tender, but look hard. I just want you to understand them. Let me know if you need any help in this area. I would be honored to help you parse, this, parse your own or someone else's emotions. We can do this. No one needs to be hurting forever. There is joy in this world. I'm Dr. Christine Bacon. Thanks for watching this informational Bacon Bit. And as always, remember to live your life sunny side up.